after you have none, and all of a sudden, within three, four minutes, you get two. And those are both fit. All right, so with the worms, I'll kind of go like this to get the sun away. Uh, usually we fish worms from zero or up to seven, eight feet. If you go any deeper and there's any wind, it takes a long time for the worm to sink. So you just cast out near weeds, not too thick weeds, near rocks or along a side of a weed bed. Just let it set and then maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds later, just kind of reel it in kind of slowly and just kind of jerk it. And uh, sometimes your line will go straight and that means you have a bite or as you start winding and you're lifting your pole a little bit, your line will start moving and you just give it a good yank. So <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of different colors you can use too. We like blue flake, red flake. So, all right. All right. So uh, you got some of these hooks here. This is a two-op hook. Okay, I like using these. That's why I got you some of these. And let's go ahead and tie this. Uh, so you put it through the eye. Okay, just like this. Okay, what you want to do is you want to bring that one back around. And this pull it get a long extension out okay so the bottom is from the pole this one I'm holding put it right back through the hole here okay and then grab the top of the hook okay and grab this okay and then you should still have a loop keep that loop with your right hand or left hand and then grab the line that's coming from the pole with your other hand. So now you have the loop and then you have these two and then just tie a knot. And then pull tight and then grab the hook and then from the back end wrap that loop right around and then just pull. There you go. And then cut the excess off. So it's okay if you got a lot of excess, that's fine. There. Those. Take it out of the package. Take one. And then do you notice this stretch right here? It looks it looks it kind of towards the middle. Not quite in the middle, okay? Doesn't have those rigid lines. You're gonna put the hook right through it. And there you go. This is called wacky style. Okay? So it'll fall through the water like that. All right, well here is a spot. We got some lily pads. All right, if you wanna to use topwater frogs or the zoom horny toads, that are in your packet, what you want to do is you want to throw those frogs right next to the lily pads and you'll have a big splash if a bass will get it. So we're going for some large mouth. All right, we're getting closer to the edge and uh, <clears throat> what's going on here? All right. Okay, now I want to show you um, how we can put the topwater frog okay, on your double hook. Okay, basically you tie this just like you did the worm. Okay, basically go through the eye, come back through. You have a loop. You have the other <coughs> pieces of line. Tie a knot and wrap it around the hook. Okay, the Palmer knot. Okay. And I'll put uh, like a description to um, from online how to do that. Okay, but basically just like we did the worm hook. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take the frog, okay, the the uh, the front part, okay, and you're going to screw it onto this right dead center. Okay, screw it right on. Okay, all the way up. 
You see that? You see how far I am? Okay. And it's right dead center. And <clears throat> basically, the top of the frog should have the bumps on top. And the bottom should have this little indentation in the middle. Okay. As you can see here. Okay, so the top, you got the eyes right up on top up here, and it's bumpy to the back. Okay, so now you're like this. It's sitting on top of the hooks. Okay. What you want to do is you want to pull back a little bit. Okay, to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to push forward so it kind of dips forward and you want to hook the hooks in. Okay, so push forward so it's bent like this and then basically drive the hooks in and then pry the hooks through. Okay, and then basically what you should have is something like this. Okay, it should be kind of snug right here, nice and flat, and then these things will flap. Okay, if you don't push forward first, it doesn't really get tight. Okay, so that's how you put on the Zoom Topwater White Frog. All right, so here is your uh, Zoom Horny Toad. Okay, this is the way you want to do it. In the water, it'll swim like this. All right, come on, right here. Look at that spot. Nothing. Well, up here in the channel. I just wanted to catch one to show you guys, and then we'll move on. Yeah, so 79, 80 degrees, usually, uh, Got him! Hey! You that? No. There is one. So, hooks right in his mouth, and you just pull it right out. Nice little fish. Again, well, that's gonna be a good uh, clip. <laughs> Dragonflies.